Here at Wayne State University, we've recently subscribed to a new product called Browsing. In this video, I will show you how to download Browsing and how to use it to access Wayne State University journal subscriptions. First, a few quick facts about Browsing. Currently, the content from more than 9,000 journals is available on Browsing, with more to come. Browsing provides our content in a format perfect for reading on tablets. It also works with other products, such as Zotero, Facebook, and Twitter. Browsing is a very helpful tool, designed to help you keep up with the literature in your area. Journals are classified by browsing into browsable subject areas. You can also create a reading list of journals that you would like to follow regularly. So now I'll show you how to get browsing on your tablet. Browsing is an app. You download it as you would a normal app. If you have an iPad, download Browsing from the App Store. Browsing is also available for Android tablets such as Google Nexus, Kindle Fire HD, and Samsung Galaxy tablets. For those devices, you can find it in Google Play or on Amazon. Wherever you get it, it is free to download. There is a very brief setup process for browsing. It won't take long and you'll only have to do it once. After you have downloaded the app, open it and you'll see this. You have to specify that you are with Wayne State University in order to get access to our subscriptions. So, either scroll down or search to find Wayne State. Then, you'll log in using your regular pipeline login. That's it. Once you have this process done, you won't have to repeat it. Browsing will work as a regular app. You won't even have to log in to access articles. Now we'll move on to finding journals in browsing. After you finish setting up, you'll be here. The titles you can access on browsing are the titles we subscribe to through publishers browsing has arrangements with. This is a growing list, so new journals are popping up all the time. The main way to use browsing is to browse by subject. To do this, press the subjects button on the top left. Journals are classified into subjects by browsing. There is a certain time lag for this classification process, so if you don't see something, try searching by title in the upper right hand corner. It may just be there. When you select a subject, you get to a page like this. As you can see, Items are classified further into subcategories. To open a journal, just press on it and you'll get to a page showing the most recent issue. Add to Bookshelf is a very useful feature. It allows you to create your own reading list of journals you follow. Just press Add to Bookshelf. To go to your bookshelf, press the My Bookshelf button at the bottom of the screen. This row of buttons along the bottom allows you to navigate to different areas of browsing at any time. Your bookshelf looks like this. The idea is to fill it up with journals you would like to follow on a regular basis. Now, on to reading in browsing. Reading an article in browsing is just like reading a saved PDF. The document fills the screen, you scroll through, and you can tap the screen to get various options. The Table of Contents button in the upper left corner will take you back to the main page for that issue of the journal. The Forward and Back buttons there towards the middle will take you to the previous or the next article in that issue. In the upper right hand corner, you can see you have many options, including using Browsing with Zotero or linking it to your social media accounts and sharing it. If you'd prefer not to do your reading within Browsing, you can email the article to yourself, or you can choose the Open In option. Open In will give you the other programs you have installed on your tablet that may work for reading the article. However, there is no guarantee that these programs are appropriate for reading content from browsing. You can also choose to save the article within browsing. This moves the article to your Saved Articles section. You can get to this section at any time by clicking the Saved Articles button at the bottom. You can save up to 100 articles in your Saved Articles section. Once an article has been saved, the icon will turn yellow in the issue. To look at earlier issues, 
simply press Back Issues. This will allow you to scroll to other available issues. Currently, browsing only offers back issue access going back to 2005. Now you may have noticed that there isn't really a search capability. Browsing isn't designed for finding articles based on content or keywords. It's for keeping up with the publications in your specific area. Browsing is still being developed, so there are some new features on the way. Browsing will soon support RefWorks and Mendeley. You will be able to export citations and documents into your account. Push notifications are also coming. You will be notified anytime a new article is available for any of the publications on your bookshelf. Finally, browsing will add an annotation feature that will allow you to underline, annotate, and mark up documents in browsing. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you run into any problems. Thank you.